I remember when we were talking last time you were on the podcast, you talked about how you really took like your day to day life experiences mm -hmm. and you wrote, that's yes, where you like, got your inspiration yeah. from. So I was thinking to myself when I saw that announcement, I'm like, gosh, she's been through so much these yeah. last few years. Like, I bet you have so many ideas. Yeah, I do. But the first one back, it's, it's not a simple script, but it, it is a spooky one. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's got a ghost in it. And, um, I'm excited because Justin, who's never seen me direct, really is going to come out with me. Um, he's my, you know, my best friend and my partner, but he's also a special effects makeup artist. Oh, that's, that's his other job. So yeah. this is a way for me to like be able to like bring him on. And he's never met all these people that were so important to me for so long. Right. He knows them by name. Yeah. And maybe even by photo a little bit because like Justin and I have been together almost 24 seven for the last two and a half years. Wow. This is like the only, this is my first trip without him that I can mm -hmm. remember because he's hanging out with his girl for Valentine's day. Mm -hmm. Um, and so like, it's going to be really cool to bring my best friend who knows me as this over here and meet all these people. And it's either going to go amazing or it's going to go really poorly. <laughs> I have a feeling everything's going to... I do too. It's all the very, stars are going to align for you. Yeah, like kind of a bunch of things that felt stuck for a long time just suddenly started clicking and coming unglued. Yeah, it's been really cool because, you know, there's been such like a... You know, when you look at the list of nominees for... AVN like best director. There's so many female, female, female names on Remember there. Remember how much shit they used to give me? Yes. Nobody believed I was really directing my own movies. Yeah. The thing that made me the most angry is when Operation Desert Stormy came out and it was like this big huge project and it won so many awards and like the reviewers like from X Critics and, and like all these people were like just gushing over the movie and they were saying best movie ever made, best comedy ever done. And they loved it. And then the last thing would be like, it's really disappointing that, you know, we'll never know who is really responsible for it or whatever. I would rather you f hate my movie, hate it, because yeah. you're entitled to your opinion. Right. But give me credit. Don't say you loved it and not give me credit. Like, yeah. that's a lie. And it just infuriated me. And it worked. I had to work so hard to be taken serious because they thought they were the Wicket was just taking the Stormy Daniels name and putting it on it to sell. And that I wasn't actually doing the work, and I did. And there are some directors that there do that. are, and yeah. I am not one of them. And so I had to fight really, really hard to be taken serious, especially, especially since I was also still performing. Yeah. And they couldn't wrap their head around. Well, she's in the movie. How is she directing it? Yeah. And so, like, I actually flew some some reviewers out on my own dime to be like, you can hate it all you want, but don't say I didn't do it. Yeah. Or they'd be like, oh, she's the best female director in the business. I'd rather be the third or fourth best director director than, than the best female because my is not directing shit she and i don't agree on anything anyway ever <laughs> so you're not coming back to performing you're just coming back to directing yeah right? I'm just directing for now yeah okay. Who, i'm not gonna say never because if i say i'm never coming back i'm doing it next week i know how yeah. this works i am not challenging the universe <laughs> so who knows <laughs> but as of right now i have you know I have no intention. I looked really good on my last movie going out. I don't know if I want to put this hell damage back on, on it film. It sucks, like, having to be in front of the camera yeah, all the time. Just it's taking, not fun. I just took promo pictures, you know, for mm -hmm. Wicked two days ago. And I'm like, ugh. Yeah. Like, I haven't sucked in this hard. Or, like, my back hurts from arching. Yeah. Like, I had to wear heels. I haven't worn anything but vans. You don't ghost hunt in heels. Yeah. You'll die. And you're like the quintessential perfect toe pointer as well. Yes. So like, I bet your feet like were killing you. Afterwards. Yeah, it was the worst. I was yeah. like, I don't even have all this stuff anymore. I haven't, I was like, I don't have a worn matching bra and panties in four years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited. Do you know how many movies a year you're doing? I'm doing four for now. Okay. Uh, that's what the contract is for. Um, Axel said, if you, you know, I don't want to tie you down too much because I do have so many other projects going yeah. on. Like when Surreal Life comes out, I'm going to have to do press for that. I'm doing this documentary thing. I'm doing Spooky Babes. I'm doing, I'm traveling a bunch. There's just a lot of other stuff I do that he didn't want me to f be too up, like, you know, overextend yeah. it, which yeah. I thought was really great. Um, so I have to do four, but I can do more if I want. Right, right. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.